All right, so last week, Google announced the launch of Storybook, which is a, a new feature within the Gemini app that will let you build literally storybooks of different ideas that can be animated, that can be in the form of an anime, cartoons. The examples that they gave were examples around uh, a bedtime story for kids or a fantasy kind of book. And it definitely seems that it's very catered to uh, providing deliverables for a, uh, a younger crowd. However, I see this as an opportunity where you're able to distill or explain complex topics or even just be creative around telling stories. And for those who are business owners or entrepreneurs, the ability to tell stories is extremely important. And having a tool like this in your arsenal can uh, be a really positive impact for what you may be building. And so I decided to try it out. Um, within the Gemini app, and I uploaded a picture of uh, Adzo. Adzo is an AI Asian influencer that I created, and I've been doing a lot of social media uh, content and also AI-related workflows and experiments, really, with the idea of a, an agent kind of uh, embodied through this avatar, being able to create utility and do different tasks for you. So combining the whole AI and agent concept with the social media influencer concept. And so Ezo is, uh, has a, a lore, right? She has a lore and she's characterized as this person who uh, does get ready with me and post pictures and models, uh, but at, at the same time is highly intelligent and is able to speak on these different topics that uh, my business focuses on. And so I actually put in a prompt here and uploaded a picture of her and saw, okay, what would it come up with for the storybook uh, feature? And so I put in a prompt saying, Azo is an AI agent influencer, you know, she models, does get ready with me, uh, talks about AI, Web3 and crypto, and this idea of we are all now programmers to where agents and copilots make it so that you can build web and mobile apps and build business is much easier if you decide to harness the tools. I put that in there and it created within minutes an actual storybook and I was blown away at the, the visual quality and then even just like the overall display of it. Um, I'm not sure if the, the audio playback, playback would work here. Uh, however, what I witnessed as far as just the, the level of quality for the, the art, and then for the, the book itself, I mean, this is just really impressive to me. Uh, so it starts with, in a world buzzing with bright ideas and digital dreams, lived Adzo, an AI agent influencer. She wasn't just about fashion and fun. Adzo loved showing everyone how amazing the future of technology could be. Once upon a time, Adzo would begin her stories, building a website or an app felt like magic only if you could do. You needed to learn secret codes and complex languages. But then something wonderful happened. Clever AI agents helped co and helpful co-pilots arrived. They were like super smart friends who understood your ideas, even if you didn't know a single line of code. And so it's uh, it's 10 pages, and that's the kind of the standard for these um for this feature, the storybook feature. But this is something that can really capture the ideas that you want to convey, the, the messaging that you want to convey for whatever it is that you may be building or that you are looking to distill. And so um, I was just extremely impressed by this. Um, and I'm gonna be doing this for a bunch of different just scenarios and examples. Uh, you could upload images of anything from uh, images with friends and, and have stories created around that. Uh, you know, in this case, I, I uploaded an image of uh, you know, what I consider a brand ambassador. And it's interesting, you know, when it comes to a lot of the examples you see being used in the AI space, um, you know, I think about the presentations by these large infrastructure companies like OpenAI, like Gemini, a lot of the time, the examples they use are very like personal life, uh, you know, based examples, if you will. Um, meaning like, you know, they may use, uh, and I, I wanted to kind of just pull up here what I'm talking about. So you see, if you go to the storybook section 
of Gemini. It talks about my seven-year-old doesn't want to sleep over at their grandma's house. Create a storybook to help them cope. This is a photo of my college roommate, Amelia. She leaves empty mugs everywhere. Um, using an anime art style, create a storybook for my brother, Akito. A lot of the times, the examples that they use with these apps like, aren't you know, aren't very relevant to businesses. For real, like, it's a lot of times personal life, uh, day-to-day, uh, average uh, person type examples that they give. And so then when you take the features though, and then you apply these business scenarios, uh, you can really take it to a far extent. And so, uh, even just while we're here, if I wanted to do another example, let's say, uh, you know, right now, a uh, voice agents is, uh, something that's I'm actively working on and installing into businesses. However, being able to do the education around it to where people are able to really understand the practicality and the role that these uh, agents can play in your business isn't always easy. So if I, if I wanted to create a storybook around um, storybook around AI voice agents and how they can serve as exceptional receptionists for service businesses, answering FAQs, um, booking appointments, light banter, and for businesses who experience a high, who appears a large volume of missed calls can help ensure they capture as much value come that comes in as possible. Let's see what that leads to. So it takes a minute or so to do the draft and then you can iterate on top of it, but I was also just impressed at how quickly it uh, it was able to produce the result. Just kind of goes to show the uh, the improvements in these image models and um, and just kind of honestly what Google is cooking up in the background. We saw that GPT five recently launched, but um, we're you know, we expect that Gemini three right will will be launching soon and um and, and it's just good all right so i've written a story for a general audience about ai voice agents and how they can serve as exceptional receptionists for service businesses answering faqs booking appointments light banter, and helping businesses capture more value from calls i hope you enjoy reading it so again if i click on listen you, you'd actually be able to hear in the background the soft voice is able to speak and narrate the story um, in a in a way that is uh, really nice. If I'm just to, to play it on my own cover to cover. The Sparkle Spa's new voice in the bustling heart of the city, Alara ran the Sparkle Spa, a place of calm and beauty. But behind the serene facade, Alara often felt a storm brewing. The phone rang. The phones rang off the hook. Sometimes all at once. Customers wanted to know about services, prices, and availability. Many calls went unanswered, and valuable appointments were lost. Alara sighed. There has been that has to be a better way, she thought. She needed help, but hiring more staff was expensive and finding the right people were was tough. Then she discovered Ayala, an AI voice agent designed just for businesses like hers. Ayala promised to answer questions, book appointments, and never miss a call. Alara decided to give Ayala a try. The very next morning, the phone started ringing. Welcome to the Sparkle Spa. How may I help you? Ayala's clear, calm voice greeted the first caller. A customer asked, what are your hours on Sundays? Ayala instantly replied, we were open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sundays by appointment only. Another caller inquired about booking a massage. Certainly, Ayala Chirp, what day and time works best for you? With a few quick questions, Ayala had the appointment scheduled. Sometimes, Ayala even added a little sparkle. When a customer mentioned needing a relaxing day, Ayala replied, we all deserve a little pampering, don't we? Enjoy your day. Soon, Alara noticed a huge difference. The missed call slip disappeared, and the appointment book was full. Customers were happy and so was Alara. Ayala became the perfect partner for the Sparkle Spa, ensuring every call was answered, every question was addressed, and every customer felt special. Alara's business truly sparkled. And so you can see, I mean, this is just, this is great. Like it was, it was refreshing, the, and the visuals are just captivating. Um, and so if you, you know, re regardless of the industry you're in, you apply this uh, to the ideas that you're looking to um, convey and messaging that you're, you'd like to get across, it could add a little bit of fuel to that fire. And then when I think about social media, for example, I mean, these are, are these stories are solid, right? So you could take, let's say just these images and then go onto uh, an Instagram or go onto LinkedIn or wherever, and then post the images and, and maybe have the text overlaid on the images um, for, uh, you know, these will make very exceptional uh, carousels. And so there you have it, Google Storybook, 
Uh, and I mean, I, I believe this was going to open up a whole lane around just different creative ideas with uh, uh, prompting that are a little bit more in the way of package. Right? This is like probably the first example of a very packaged kind of uh, content idea where this is um, when you think about the different image models, the video models, um, the just the text models, and typically if you're uh, an individual or company using them and leveraging them for your purposes, you're the ones creating those create those assets at the end. And you've had platforms where it'll help in the process of of building these content assets or they'll, it'll do the whole thing for you. But, you know, for example, like presentations or videos, but it's not to the extent, it's not an actual deliverable that, I mean, this right here is something that you would buy in a store. Like you would, you would purchase this from uh, a bookstore, you know what I mean? For, so, I mean, what does that mean now for uh, just like the, the general value of, these uh kinds of, of content assets uh i believe in the short term it creates an opportunity um because it's a gap that uh you know unless you're watching a video like this you probably don't don't know about or 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 maybe you you couldn't even really think about how you may leverage or, or use this with for your agenda but um over the long term it's something that you know now the general public would be able to just within a prompt uh, uh, come up with whatever asset that they need for that that moment, um, and so I say I have to say being able to leverage the uh, these moments and these assets uh, and the opportunity, right? Seizing these opportunities as they come about, so that uh, you're able to you know, build your businesses and accomplish your goals. So that's what I have. For today, um, try it out and um, I'll see you guys next time.